I'm going to be continuing to hang on to those fall conditions this weekend as temperatures really stick to how they have been over these last couple of days. We're going to be sitting in the lower 50s for most of the day. It's going to be very clear we're going to see that sunshine sticking around, but as tomorrow approaches, that cloud cover actually does make a return and it's going to push temperatures down just a little bit. It's going to be getting back down right around 50 degrees and we are going to see some wind gusts, maybe actually possibly up to about 20 miles per hour. Now for the game today, going to be pretty chilly, especially for towards the beginning, going to be sitting in the upper 30s, but right around kickoff, going to be sitting right at 45, around in the mid 40s. And then later on in the afternoon, we're actually going to be seeing temperatures warming back up, like I was saying, back into the low 50s. Definitely going to be a little bit chilly if you're going to be headed out. You want to grab on those sunglasses and maybe a little bit of a heavier coat. Now, we are going to see temperatures actually decrease pretty considerably tonight, getting into the 30s. And then tomorrow, as I was saying, going to just be a few degrees cooler with that cloud cover on us and that wind. Most places just going to be sitting in the upper 40s, maybe even reaching into the 50s. Now, the real big pattern change does come on Monday. We'll see a cold front actually overnight on Sunday move through. This is going to be our actually our high temperature on Monday, really reaching into the upper 20s. Most places really struggling to get out of the 20s for most of that day. Now, this is going to maybe reach the 30s by the afternoon and then by Monday evening, getting back down into the 20s. And we're going to see those lows overnight actually kind of stick to those 20s now. With all of that pattern change, does come a little bit of instability, very slight chance for some rain Sunday evening and headed into Monday morning. Now, future track really just kind of showing most of that actually hitting us on during the day on Sunday. This future track especially trying to show some pretty light showers moving in earlier on the on the day on Sunday, and then those move out pretty quickly. Now we are going to see another chance for that, particularly in some of our southern eastern can uh, southeastern counties particularly in the later afternoon hours, but those are going to be moving out pretty quickly and just going to be some really light showers moving through. Now we are going to see cloud cover, especially make an exit. And then even by Tuesday, we're going to see a little bit of a wind shift. So we're going to see this system moving through. That's actually going to bring some more, a little bit warmer air. We are going to see those temperatures, like I was saying, headed into Monday, really dropping down about 15 degrees from that high on Sunday. We're going to be getting into the mid thirties. Now those lows are going to be in the twenties, especially in the morning. We're going to be sitting very cool, but we are going to see those temperatures rebound just a little bit headed into Tuesday and Wednesday, back into the forties, maybe trying to hold on to the thirties for some places, but definitely want to have that winter coat and winter looks like it is actually trying to make an appearance here in Missouri.